I think that race is sort of the great unhealed wound of our country. I'm Hillary Jordan, and I have written a book called Mudbound. Mudbound is a story of forbidden love and betrayal and murder set on a farm in the Mississippi Delta in the 1940s. It tells the story of two families, one black and one white. Mudbound started as a three-page writing exercise in grad school, the assignment being uh, write three pages in the voice of a family member. And I decided to write three pages in the voice of my grandmother about the farm. This is my grandfather, whose parallel character would be Henry in the book, and he did indeed move my grandmother uh, from a comfortable house in the city to the farm for a year. This is my mother, the one who's smiling, and my aunt. And this is their Uncle Bobby, uh, who I guess would be his parallel would be the Jamie character in the book. I tried to write it as a short story, and it ended up being something like a 60-page short story, which was essentially like the cliff notes for a book. And then at that point I said, okay, I'm, I guess I'm writing a novel. There were all these laws that were passed called Jim Crow laws, so blacks had to drink from different water fountains and sit on the back of the bus and swim in different pools and go to different schools. Blacks were legally uh, held to be inferior and did not really have the rights of, of whites. I've had people come up to me and said, did you make that stuff up? I never knew about any of that until I read your book. We weren't taught that in school. I thought Mudbound was the perfect name for, uh, for the farm in my book um, because it's not just the name of the place, it's also the condition in which the characters find themselves. They're literally trapped in a place they don't want to be. Um, they're bound by tradition, they're bound by uh, old hatreds, um, you know, and the land really uh, keeps them there and is a real force in the book. Mudbound did not come easily. Um, it came in sort of fits and starts. Uh, it got easier as I went along. You know, you sort of, one of the things about writing a first novel is that you have to teach yourself how to write a novel while you're writing the novel. It's a long journey, and it's an uncertain journey when it's your first book. And uh, there were many times when I despaired, and my friends, like Catherine, would say, it's going to be great, you just have to keep writing. Your friend says, oh, I want you to read my book, and you go, you know, what if it's not any good? You know, what do you say? So it was a great relief to read the first pages and, and say, wow, this is, this is really incredible. So it wasn't really until Mudbound was published that I actually said the words for the first time. When somebody asked me, what do you do? I said, I'm an author. I have finally given up my day job. Do you see how big I'm smiling? To anyone trying to publish a book, I would say uh, don't talk about writing, don't think about writing, don't dream about writing. You just have to sit down and write.